Hi, this is Eduard from NoPlan and in this video I want to show you how you can customize themes. Theme customization is possible from today's update, which is version 3.019. And you always set a set of themes in your preferences. So you go to preferences, then click on themes. And there are a handful of light themes and dark themes. But in previous versions you couldn't customize them. Now it's possible. So you see there are so a few new buttons. You can import themes from other users and you can click here to read the documentation, which I will show you later. Now, if you hover over the existing themes, you will see there is a new button called copy and customize. So what NoPlan will do is it will copy this theme, for example, which you can use as a template. This is the orange default theme. And then you can change it and load the new theme. So I will show you how this works. So you click on copy and customize. It copied and opened the theme here for me in the finder. And it creates a new folder called themes in NoPlan's folder structure. And this folder will be also synchronized automatically using iCloud Drive or CloudKit to your iOS device. So any changes you make will be automatically synced and you don't need to worry about how you get the theme onto your iOS devices. So now this is the new theme which I've just copied and now I rename it. So now you can open it and edit the theme. I recommend to use Sublime. You can drag and drop it. So first I explain you how the theme file is structured. So here is the copied theme file. It's in JSON format. And the advantage of using an editor like Sublime is if you delete a comma here by accident, it will immediately show you that something is wrong with your file so you can make less mistakes. So I explain how this JSON file is structured. So you have here the name and the style, which can be light or dark. It will be anyways automatically set if you copy the template. The author, you can write down your name here and your email address if you want. And the editor key will define the main colors of the NoPlan user interface, like the background color. In this case, it's white. An alternative background color, the tint colors, which are the main and the secondary colors, which you see in links, for example. The text color, toolbar background color, which is mainly used for iOS. The toolbar icon color. And the last one is should override font. So NoPlan overrides the fonts which are defined here, uh, especially in body and title, because you can change the font in NoPlan's preferences. You can change the font here. So this font will override whatever you define in the JSON file. But you can change this behavior. You can say should override font false, and then it will use the font which you define in here. So I changed the name orange tweaked. So now we go back to no plan, open the preferences, and now I can scroll down and I see here is orange tweaked and you can also already see the font has changed. You can click on it and you can see no plan changes already. So let's keep the preferences open here. Let's go to the title, for example, and define another font. Okay, we use here Avenir next. So I just copy this, bold, for example. Now, if you want to see the changes, you have to click again on the theme in the preferences and then it will reload things. See the theme of title or the heading one has changed already. And we can change a few colors. Like one of the main colors is the background color or the, let's take the tint color. At the moment it's like orange. Just an example, I make it blue so you can see the change uh, very easily. Save. And then we click again on this. So I've changed it to green, not blue. This is how you can make the modifications. There are much more things you can do. Like if you scroll down, you can see here's the body. Here's, here are the titles. The full explanation will be in the documentation. We also have a GitHub repository where you can submit your own new themes and we, from where you can download themes. And you can click on import theme to import them. So here's the GitHub repository. You will find a link in the newsletter and in the documentation as well. Click on bin. You can find a set of themes here and then either copy paste this or you can just download the full code from here as a zip file and then import the files into no plan. Okay, let's have a look at the documentation. You click here. So here's a quick explanation how you get started and then a description of the JSON file, different styles, which I just described in the video and the different style attributes. So you can use line spacing, paragraph spacing and paragraph spacing before and change the spacings between either the paragraphs or the line or before the paragraph. Usually other apps use the same spacing for paragraphs and line, the color, and you can change the background color, color, which is behind the text, font size. Usually you define bold and italic by defining a new font. Underline style, if you want to have an underline. 
underlying color, strike through. I'll show you a quick example of a theme which I've created. So here we have also highlighting and I have changed the background color of inline code. Strike through is not covered here, but I have also have changed like the color of a completed task, a canceled task. And I have added a heading four. So this is also not available by default. Here I explain how you can change the colors. They support also transparency. There is one caveat with link colors, basically links scheduled to date links, done dates, and so on. They are links and they can only have one color at the moment. This might change in future versions, but you cannot change the colors of links. You can only have one color, which is defined by the tint color. Fonts, so if you set the short override font to false, you can define your own fonts. You can also install custom fonts or use the fonts which are available on the system. Use the font book to find the font names. You can see I have a few user fonts and then you can use the post script name, copy this into the theme file if you want to change the font. Remember you need to install these custom fonts also on iOS. So there are a few apps like FontCase or any font with which you can install custom fonts also on iOS. For bold and italic, you need to add a font to the font key, which is for example here Avenue Next bold italic. It should be just italic. And there are a few system fonts. So if you don't want to define a specific font, you can also use these system fonts. Here I explain how the spacing works. The head indent, so usually the task circle would not be indented like this. You might have to modify the head indent. And tasks and bullets are covered under the to-do key. And the task states uh, like open, scheduled and cancelled are covered under the checked key. The special character is the asterisk and the hyphen. They have a different font. There are just three different headings you can have in Noplan, but you can add more headings, which I show you now. With the theme customization, you can also add your own custom regular expressions. One example is to add a heading four. So you overwrite the regular expression of title three. For example, here I open the, this tweaked theme. I click on customize. And normally title three doesn't have a regex here. I have copied it from the existing ones and removed the plus and you can add new titles. This is a, not a key which is by default defined in no plan, but you can add your own custom regular expression. You say what is the match position for the regular expression, which is in this case is two. So you have here group one and you have group two and you want to match group two in this case. And it should reveal uh, on cursor range so if you click into the title it will reveal the markdown characters in this case every key you have you see here like title one title two and title three they have a default regular expression in the background you don't see them here but there is a file which no plan loads for them except you define your own here override in this way and in documentation you can find them here under no plans regular expressions just unfold this and here is the file and here you see a very similar JSON file. You have title one with the regular expression, title two and so on. You can also go down to checked, which is completed, canceled, scheduled task. You can copy this, for example, I have done this already in this theme, here's checked. And I have added two new checked. So one is canceled and one is checked scheduled. So normally you just have this one. I have modified this regular expression. So it just covers the completed tasks. You can see it here of the X added one for cancelled with the hyphen and one for scheduled. So with the greater than sign. Now you can modify the color. You can add a strike through style. As you can see here, the cancelled task has a strike through. You might want to modify this and you can add more custom markdown. Here's another example highlighting. So this is a regular expression which I've written. So here's an example. If you click into it, it will show the colons left and right and if you click away it will hide them this is what these two regular expressions are for so this is how you can add your own markdown styles you can also add something like a strike through besides the highlighting or even change the color behind specific tags or change the color if there are exclamation marks in front of it like in this example you can copy and paste this here i already have it becomes red, the intensity of the red increases. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful for you and make sure to share your new themes. Submit them either to this GitHub repository or just post them into the Reddit or send me an email.